Welcome to the series of videos on Pipe Network Productivity Tools for AutoCAD Civil 3D. In this video, we'll discuss the Label Pipe Elevation command. Oftentimes in the design process, it's helpful to be able to obtain a pipe's elevation at any point along the pipe. Uh, perhaps there's some kind of surface structure or some kind of underground uh, piping that you know the location of and you want to make sure that your pipe has uh, the proper clearance uh, of that and you need to know the elevation at a specific point. So let's say here in our plan view I've got this pipe and I know that there's some kind of crossing here of an electrical line and I'm installing this pipe here and I want to know what my pipe elevation is at this point. Um, so how do you do that? Well you would measure the distance from here to here and then you'd go into your pipe properties and you would look at your pipe slope. Okay we got 8% or start or end interval elevation is this. We do the math and figure out you know what the pipe elevation is at that point. Well, why can't the software compute it for us? With pipe network tools, we do have that ability. So we can label a pipe elevation at any point along the pipe. So let's run this command. We'll select the pipe. And I can drag anywhere along the pipe. And right now it's pulling in the invert elevation of that pipe. So I can drag this along. And it's doing that calculation as you drag your cursor. So it won't let me go past the end of the pipe. You can see it's actually grabbing right from that pipe. So if I drop the invert here, label, now it's, it's using a multi-liter style, which I don't have any populated in my drawing. So it kind of threw it off in the distance here. Um, but now I've got that invert label there. So let's go ahead and delete this. If I run this again and I go to settings, we have a lot of different settings that you can plug in here. So elevation mode, do you want to do invert center line or crown? Let's go ahead and do crown here. I want to know what the top of the pipe is at this location. And then I want to know what my surface elevation is at that location as well. Let's put that in the label. Uh, what precision do I want? Do I want to label to the outer wall for this? Yes, let's go ahead and do that. And then abbreviations if you want um, you know, for your crown elevation, your crown wall elevation, center line, invert, invert wall, um, you can plug in those to whatever you want them to be. Select OK, and run the command again. So now we're running the crown wall elevation, and I'm going to drop this point here. And now I had picked the surface reference, so I'm going to go ahead and pick my surface here on screen, or you can do it by dialog. And again, my multi-liters dragging off in the distance. And now we get a surface elevation of 636 and an invert elevator or a crown wall elevation of the pipe at 613. So just to verify this, if we annotate the surface elevation, drop a quick label at that same point. So 636, 138, so it's rounding to two decimal places. So it is pulling in the correct surface elevation there. Um, and then if you were to check the, the crown elevation, that, that would match up. If we look at the pipes, crown, 608 and 624, so it's, it's making sense that it's computing um, based on the length of where your cursor was at that point for you. Um, so just a helpful tool to find the pipe elevation. Um, you may want to place a label on plans. You may just want to just run the command just to see the elevation as you're designing. Um, and that, that is sometimes helpful just to drag along and say, OK, it's 612 right here, so I'm going to hit escape, and then it doesn't do anything. Um, but it's helpful to be able to know what that elevation is at any time during your design process. So that's the label pipe elevation command. Thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions, and be sure to check out our other apps on the Autodesk Exchange Store.